Earlier this summer, a massive landslide surged into the Chilcotin River. It happened around 300 kilometers north of Vancouver and water, fallen trees and other materials built into a rising lake behind the slide. And when that water eventually spilled over the dam, it sent a dangerous torrent rushing downstream into the Fraser River. Landslides in BC have done serious damage. The 2019 slide in the Fraser River blocked migrating salmon and landslides in 2021 damaged highways right across this province and claimed five lives. So why do these natural disasters keep happening? The Chilcotin landslide and its impact on the landscape is still being studied, but scientists agree this was a major event for BC. The Chilcotin landslide was a big landslide. We've uh, done some preliminary calculations indicating it's about maybe six or seven million cubic meters. When that amount of debris and water pools all at once, it creates a huge flood risk for communities upstream. And that's not the only danger, because once that water breaks over the dam, that flood risk spreads to communities downstream. And this is really what we worried about in the case of the Chilcotin landslide because it was a large volume of water, something of the order of 60 million cubic meters, that all had to go down the Chilcotin River to its mouth, flow into the Fraser River, and then take off down the Fraser River Valley. And so the large question is, what would happen when that water's over top that barrier? Another impact is on fish populations, because in early August, sockeye salmon passed through the site of the landslide on their way to spawn. The impact on that migration is still not known. You know, you would have the salmon essentially pooling below the dam, unable to reach their spawning grounds. If you were there, you'd kind of think, of, oh, that's really tragic. Now, the cause of the Chilcotin landslide is largely unknown, but smaller landslides are often caused by rain events. And this is where the connection to another type of natural disaster, wildfires, becomes important. There are a couple major reasons that wildfires can make landslides worse. The first one has to do with the soil. Now, when a wildfire passes through an area, it's burning the vegetation, but also the soil itself. And so when this gets dried out, it makes it a lot easier for it to move and slide when there's a big input of water or just uh, too much pressure being put on the soil. Now, also, when the wildfire passes over, the top layer of the soil can actually become water repellent, meaning that when water comes over it, it doesn't have the ability to soak any of that up. So as more water rushes over, it can make the landslide more intense and more likely. Another major way that wildfires can drive landslides is by burning the vegetation. Now, the trees and other plants are really good at holding the soil in place. Now, imagine trying to dig out all the soil from between tree roots. It would be very difficult. So by holding that in place, they can help prevent landslides or at least lessen their impact. Uh, the other way that they really help is by absorbing all the water that moves across the landscape. Uh, in an area that's been passed over by wildfire, you have a lot more water moving across it and less plants to be drawing it up, which then allows uh, more intense flow to pick up more soil, pick up more land and increase the chances of a landslide. We recently saw an example of a landslide in an area impacted by wildfire. This is in the Hatlatch River near the Fraser Canyon. A wildfire ripped through this area last summer, and this slide came quickly after around 10 minutes of rain. As I feel that many other parts of the river valley are vulnerable to these rain events now because of the intensity of the fire that hit here and the steepness of our slopes, um, I think there's gonna be more landslides in this area. No way! Oh, no way! That wildfire was just one year ago, but scientists say fires can increase the risk of a landslide in an area for many years. That means we could see more landslides in this province and potentially more impacts on the people who live up and down BC's rivers.